My Mobius associates have finally tracked down the last piece of the artifact. It's on a derelict Zelnaga ship, located within the Sigma Quadrant. Pretty far off the beaten path, Junior. The artifact is... here. The ship has several Ripfield generators, which disintegrate everything at a molecular level in a matter of moments. Fortunately, our new Minotaur-class battlecruisers should be able to survive the fields long enough to destroy the generators. Anything else we should know? Well, long-range scans have identified a sizable Taldarim force holding in the area. We are in way over our heads on this one, Jimmy. Walking into Rip Fields. I didn't sign up for no suicide mission. We should just take the money and run. Getting cold feet, Tigus? I lost nine years in prison on account of you. Ain't tossing what's left of my life away just so you can rescue your little princess. Remember, you own me, partner. Not enough to quit on something like this. You're relieved. You can sit this one out, partner. Fine, then. You know where I'll be. Adjutant, prep the ship for jump. Let's get this over. Me. Receiving headquarters. Flights here. Whoa, they're all over me. Ooh, Flights here. Armed and Truly, you bring freedom to all, friend Rainer. Go, go, go! I got my ears on. We could use some help here. Roger that. Transmit orders. Attack formation. Vector locked in. Battle 
is upon us. Your name. Set a course to rendezvous with Valeria. Rainer sold us out. I joined this out after the fight by Dominion and I work for him. Have everybody ever done that? We trust other commandments of the war. We should trust them now. Got us working for the Dominion now, Commander. Taking us back to Char. It's like you're gone already. This ain't about the Dominion. Our war has always been about saving lives. If the Zerg wipe everyone out, it's all been for nothing. So I'm going back to Char. If you're with me, it's your choice. Just like it's always been. Now that's the commander I've been waiting on. Satisfied? <laughs> Let's get back to work, boys. I don't want to have to have this conversation again. And fix my damn jukebox.
You still got a problem with us working alongside Valerian? <sighs> Max turned out to be a ruthless dictator, but that shouldn't automatically condemn his son. I followed you through hell and back, sir. I'm not quitting on you now. Good man. This truce won't last forever. Just long enough to get the job done. On a personal note, nice job with Tychus. That ass kicking's been a long time coming. You ready to tell me what the hell that was all about? Man, these last few weeks, helping you fight the good fight, I finally got a taste of what real freedom is. But that's all coming to an end with you charging off like some damn hero for a cause I couldn't care less about. Then what was all that talk earlier about doing humanity a favor and getting paid well in the process? Just seems the closer we get to your queen of blades. Well, let's just say things don't always work out the way you planned, Jimmy. I need you with me on this one, Tigus. Trust me. For old time's sake. All right, all right, I'm with you. That's my boy. Old times. Ah, she is my man. How can I be helping you, Mr. Rayner? You sit up here watching everything. Tell me what you see. Tyke is just a mean drunk. I wish it was just that. All that jealousy and rage. He's fighting himself over something he don't want to do. You'll see. Got some help lined up for you. You came to the right place. How you holding up down here, Chief? Better, now we got our old commander back. Oh, and our new best friend, Prince Charming, came through with some upgraded battlecruiser schematics. I've been working on some interesting modifications for our ships. I'll check them out. Where we're going, we're gonna need all the firepower we can get. Well, Junior, we got our hands on the final artifact. You can take possession of the whole set at any time. Thank you, Commander, and well done. 
You're every bit as resourceful as I've been led to believe. I think the odds are stacking in our favor. You better hope so. Delivering this artifact thing right to Kerrigan's doorstep. We're gonna need all the luck we can get. Rest easy. We'll have the might of the Dominion fleet behind us. Right. Everything is in motion to begin the final act. The invasion of the primary Zerg Hive on Char. Once we begin, there will be no turning back. Ensure that you are fully prepared, Commander. Destiny awaits. Zerg, General. They ain't gonna fit into your nice, clean timetable. I've led five separate invasions against the Swarm. I held the line while you and your terrorist friends hid under a rock. We're all aware of your victories, General. I've invited Commander Raynor here to assist us with any unforeseen contingencies. Well, it sounds like you got it all figured out, Junior. I have far too much invested in this undertaking to see it fail. Speaking of which, you might particularly enjoy this next step. Valeria! I've just received a report you've taken half the fleet. Care to explain yourself, boy? Oh, Father, I am about to accomplish that which you never could. Today, I will defeat the Queen of Blades and secure peace throughout the Dominion. By this act, the people will finally know that I am a worthy successor to you. I love your gumption, son, but you're in way over your head. What makes you think you have the experience to... Being alone, Arcturus. Reyna. I don't know what gutter my son fished you out of, but even you've got to realize that treacherous bitch cannot be saved. And neither can you. We'll see about that. And when this is over, you and me got a score to settle. <laughs> Everything I could have hoped for. You're playing a dangerous game here, kid. Prince Valerian. We have Zerg attack waves incoming. Already? Clear the bridge. I got a battle to win. I'll see you boys on the ground. that did make it to the surface, scattered all over the place. Do you think death is the worst thing that can happen to you here? Infestation is what's coming for you. Soon all will serve the swarm. She's trying to get in our heads, man. We've got to keep it together. If we're going to pull this caper off, we need to rally as many survivors as we can. Commander, Dominion battle groups are still landing all around you, but they're in pretty bad shape and coming under heavy attack from the Zerg. All right. Let's get out there and rescue their sorry parts. 
We need to pull together a real fighting force, but we won't have a prayer to stop the indicates the Zerg greatly outmatch your current forces. By the numbers, boy. Matt, keep me updated on those drop pods as they get to Char. If we can reach enough of them before the Zerg, we might just have a chance of fighting our way through this. I'm tracking an incoming drop pod. It should be landing close to your position any second. All right, let's get out there and find him before the Zerg do. You can... Don't leave me hanging. Please state the nature of your medical emergency. Add on complete. This better be good. Standing by. command here. You men fall in with us, and we'll see to finding your general. Yes, sir. I so love the way you kindle their hope, Jim. By all means, bring them all to my doorstep. It'll be like lambs to the slaughter. Don't listen to her. Stay focused, and we'll make it out of here together. Been waiting on you. Sir, I've detected a drop pod in your vicinity. Yes, 
served. Roger that. Sending coordinates to a nearby drop pod. Why not? Looking forward to it. Of course. Get this factory back to the landing zone and get it building. We'll do. Another drop pod is coming down near your location. What are you on? What's up? Armed and ready. Outstanding. Oh, yeah. Aye, aye. Sir, another drop pod has arrived near your perimeter. What's up? 
is just what we need. Secure this starport and bring it behind our guns. Ah! You scared me! drop pod landing nearby. Yes, Commander. Read multiple drop pods entering the atmosphere. I don't think you'll have enough time to rescue them all. Not with this much Zerg in the area. Damn it. We'll rescue as many as we can. But I don't think everyone's gonna live through this. Yes, sir. Complete. 
Base is under attack. Base is under attack. Mayday, Mayday, this is General Warfield. My ship has taken terrible, terrible damage. through those Nidus worms. <laughs> Some invasion. We should mobilize everything we've got and try to break through to Warfield. Warfield won't be alive for very much longer. My pants will be drawn to his fear. And that of his men. There's absolutely nothing you can do. You're sure talking a lot, Kerrigan. Maybe the fear you smell is your own. There's another wave of drop pods coming in, sir. It would be too dangerous to try and rescue them all. Commander, the last of the Dominion drop pods have reached the surface of Char. Looks like we're on our own, boys. Outstanding. Yes, Commander. Our allies' base is under attack. Our allies are being attacked. Our allies' base is under attack. Yes, Squadron on our allies' base is under attack. Fight or flight? Yeah, right. Inbound. Our 
allies base is under attack well base is under attack. In the rear with the gear. Our allies base is under attack. Some better send some body bags. Space is under attack. The doctor is in. Explorer reporting. Our oh, ally is, is, is under attack. attack. Base is under attack. Go, go, go! Please state the nature of your medical emergency. Is it critical? It must be an emergency. Our allies base is under attack. The doctor is in. Where does it hurt? Our allies' base is under attack. Standing by. Our allies' base is under attack. Space is under attack. Our, our allies' base is under attack.
wolf to come here. Like old Warfield still alive and kicking. needed some help. We came as fast as we could. There ain't no time to be lying down on the job, General. You magnificent son of a bitch. <laughs> You're the last man I expected to see. Boys, I hate to interrupt, but uh, the natives are getting restless. Thanks for the rescue, but I hope it ain't just the two of you. General, you know I've always got a card to play.
You might be a damn pirate, Raina, but whatever happens, you saved my boys today. And I won't forget that. All in a day's work, General. Lock and load, Jimmy boy. These plastic critters just keep coming. What we got here is the biggest turkey shoot in a galaxy. Hate to spoil all your fun, Tychus. But we gotta start pushing toward the primary hive cluster Prano. That's a tall order, old buddy. Between them nidus worms on the ground and that swarm of flies overhead, we ain't in no position to push against anything. You're always an inspiration, Tychus. This is Kate Lockwell reporting live for UNN. Stunning news tonight as massive numbers of Zerg began pulling back to their main hive on the planet Char. While they aren't giving up the worlds they've conquered, most of the aliens appear to be massing near the fiery planet. What can it mean, Kate? We really don't know, Donnie. We'll keep you posted with any further developments. I know what it means. And it ain't good. How are you holding up, General? <sighs> Damn poison. I told those pansy-ass medics to lop off my arm so I could get back to the front. Even so, I'm in pretty bad shape. I've decided to hand over all command to you. I understand. I know that ain't easy for you. Easy? <laughs> Son, I'm getting off easy compared to what you got ahead of you. To reach the main hive, you'll have to choose between taking out their ground reinforcements or their air support. There ain't time for both. Don't worry, General. I'll deal with the Zerg. First chance you get, head back to the ship and get patched up. That's an order. We've secured our landing zone thanks to you, Commander. General Warfield believes an attack on the primary hive is suicide under current conditions. A diversionary attack to cripple part of the Zerg defenses will give us the opportunity we need. You know... I've been thinking. It scares me more than the Zerg. We're gonna have to take out those Nidus worms before we can make a move on the main hive. Them Zerg bursting up under us wherever they please ain't exactly conducive to our health and well-being. Well, placing charges at the right spots in their Nidus network could flood the whole system with lava. What's your take, General? Well, it's dangerous, but it could work. Bigger problems still, they're flyers. Even if we could move our units forward, we can't provide adequate air cover while the skies are contested. Any suggestions? Intel shows 80% of the Zerg flyers nest on an infested platform hanging in low orbit. We take that down, we'll only air. Hell, if this platform's so important, why not just nuke it? The nests are burrowed deep into the superstructure. Surface detonations won't do it. We'd need to land a strike force on the platform and take it apart piece by piece. It's your call, Reyna. We can deal with the Nidus worms when they surface, but there ain't no way we can advance without air support. We gotta take that platform down. We came all the way down here just to head back into space. I only wish I could go with you. Give them hell, Reyna. The Zerg flyers are using this old orbital platform as their base of operations. It's actually made up of several smaller platforms, tethered together in geostationary orbit. The nests are too deep inside to destroy with a bombardment, but clearing the whole thing with ground forces will be costly. Adjutant, what's keeping that thing in orbit? Has it got power? Affirmative. Thermal readings indicate intense heat coming from the platforms. 
core temperatures are kept stable by a series of coolant towers, still operational despite the Zerg infestation. Perfect. There's your answer, General. We get on board and destroy the coolant towers in each section. The reactors will go critical and take care of the Zerg for us. Excellent plan. You missed your calling, Rainer. You would have made an outstanding staff officer. I reckon I'm right where I'm meant to be, General. Now let's get saddled up and hit that platform. Kerrigan won't be giving us a second chance. Scanning to get a positive fix on all the towers. Got it. I'll mark the tower coordinates on your map. Damn, Jimmy. This whole place is writhing. Once we blow those coolant towers, it won't matter. The platforms will burn up and kill everything on them. Turbines to fall. This better be good. You gonna give me orders? Who wants some? Paused.